mega esophagus dog update belly chair does your dog have mega esophagus has your dog been diagnosed are you freaking out and you're sad because you love your doggy i'm gonna be serious here it's been a year since our our love this old man he's a good boy he's a good boy has been diagnosed with isn't he beautiful look at him oh it's like he's an angel so it's been a year since he got diagnosed, but he's had it way longer than that. We just thought he was a puker. And there's this homemade Bailey chair that we made with a, <coughs> excuse me, a million zip ties and cut it all up in the basement. If you want to model that, whatever, or you can buy one. But anyways, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm putting the dishes away. So... A few weeks ago, he was throwing up a lot and laying around the house. And we, that's Miko, by the way. He's a Lhasa Apso and he's going on 12 years old. That's Gracie. She's two and a half. So, anyways, Miko was throwing up a lot and he was lying around the house. And we started getting really worried because Mega Esophagus, from what we're learning, has good days and bad days. So we've heard, and that seems to be very true, because the bad days are scary, because he'll start making this sound like the <gasps> and we get really scared that there's fluid or food in his lungs. And um, what, you don't wanna be on the video? So whenever that happens, we start getting emotional and we're afraid that this could be it type of thing and then he pulls out of it and he's fine and he's running around playing with his toys and he's a happy healthy dog so this is wife hi wife hello hello there are people that are watching these videos now and they're incredibly thankful because we're sharing the story of miko and if you find out, if somebody found out their dog has mega esophagus and it's like their child, give some them some words of encouragement. I'm putting her on the spot. Um. She sat there sobbing, crying, holding our dog. Like, you don't understand. Like, well, you do understand or you wouldn't be watching. So, how much do you love Miko? I mean, he's like my kid. Yeah? Yeah. And I love him a lot. Okay, so... If somebody's dog got diagnosed with Maggie esophagus and they're scared and they're afraid they're going to lose their dog, what do you have to tell them? Um, it's just you'll get used to putting them in the chair and feeding them. Like, feed them at normal times. Just put them in the chair after he's done. If you have an Alexa, set the Alexa. Get a timer on your phone. Yeah, you say, Alexa, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Yeah. You get so used to it. At first, you're like, oh, my God, it's overwhelming because, like, the, the, you know, some people feel like they can't do it, but then it just becomes a part of your routine, you know? And then you, you like, it's a responsibility because you know if you don't put them in that chair. Yeah, like, if we travel, we have to pay to take the dog with us. Uh, like, I'm going to Miami soon, and it would cost to take our dogs with a guy with a dog-friendly hotel, like another 1000 bucks or something. But, um, so because we don't trust leaving the dog with anybody else except for us, because even if we adamantly express to them that the dog needs to go in his chair, you got to pat the dog, you know, make sure he's upright after every time he eats or drinks anything and you have to time it and document that they might not take that serious because even if it's a close family member, they don't understand that he could literally die. If he doesn't, if he's not upright and the food or water or fluid gets into his lungs. I'm going to go get my check. I love you. I love you. I love you a lot. It's not a real one. It is. I no, know. you're doing like the push away hug. I'm not. It's like the anxiety hug. Like, give me a quick hug. You're gonna no, go. it's the, I just did my hair and makeup and I don't want you to smudge it all over the place. Hug. So, um... So we're afraid that somebody might just disregard it or the word is not take it serious and justify it in their head that, oh, he's okay, right? So check this out. 
Hey, will you hold the camera real quick? Actually, I got this little camera stand. I don't have time to edit videos like this. Because I make a lot of YouTube videos. But if you stick with me. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Okay, so, watch this. That's good enough. Uh, I'll bring it like this. There you go. Okay. This is a ghetto chair. I'm sorry, Miko. I love you. Okay. So I'm going like this. Oh, he got a boy. Oh, he got a boy. His ears, and I watch. I'm not even a qualified to talk about this. I'm not a veterinarian. But, my heart tells me what to do. Alright, listen. Watch this. Oh, he can do me. He loves the attention. Yeah, now watch. So like that. Massage his neck, his throat, get in there. Oh, massage it nice. Grab his paw paws. He's a good boy. He He's a good boy like this. And when you do that, like, he'll do this thing. He goes, I don't even know if what I'm doing right. I'm just trying my best. You're like, this guy's insane. If you're still watching this, uh, give me a thumbs up. You're saving his life. How are you insane? What you're doing right now. So oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> if you didn't do that, Keith, he would get sick. And Stop. we've tried to get him to sit. He won't sit. He likes to stand. Yeah. We designed the chair so he would sit. He ain't sitting. He doesn't want to sit. He's very stubborn. It's, he doesn't want to sit. It hurts him more to sit. Oh. I love you, Binky. Alexa, how much is left on the timer? You have two minutes and 20 seconds left on the Two minute minutes, Baba. Yo. This here, this is Mr. Jeepers. Love you, babe. It's okay, Jeepy. Oh, he's a oh, good indoor, outdoor cat. Oh, he's a good boy. I'm going to take another alkaline booster. Watch out. Gracie. Come here, baby. We have a secret YouTube channel for this dog. And it's gonna make us very rich. Okay, that's the end of this video. I'll put links in the description below to other mega esophagus dog videos we've created. And I will also add this to a playlist. So after this video, the next video will play.